Donc, je suis en ce moment euh, dans le sud de l'Alberta, près de Lethbridge. Et je vais rencontrer un couple qui a créé un Earthship. C'est un couple quinquagénaire comme plein d'autres qui avait cette idée de construire une maison. Et ils ont découvert, euh, grâce à leurs enfants, euh, ce principe de récupérer des matériaux et de créer euh, une maison complètement autosuffisante. Ils sont au milieu des Badlands, qui sont une euh, région euh, de l'Alberta qui se rapproche des prairies. Ils vivent une vie assez paisible avec une petite ferme, avec euh, leurs chèvres et leurs euh, chiens. Et euh, c'est assez cool. Donc voici Glenn et sa femme Dawn, qu'on ne verra pas dans le reportage, et leur Earthship. I think people are just conscious that the houses that we've built aren't very energy efficient and they're really set up to consume. So they're really consumer-based houses where this is the opposite of that. I'm Glenn Kinney and uh, I live here with Don, my wife. We bought this land six, seven years ago and with the idea of building an airship. What is an airship? Um, just a, a house trying to be more sustainable than a, your regular house. Also, um, making you aware of your consumption. You're trying to reduce your impact on the environment and be aware of how much water you use and how much power you use because you're off grid. So, and it's passive solar. So you're not reliant on natural gas heating or um, electrical heating. It's more just the sun energy that you're relying on. This is our foyer. This is the airlock. Um, part of the system is that you want to limit air infiltration. So there's an airlock on the front end and an airlock on the back end. This is uninsulated, so it's basically ground temperature in there. So we, can, we store our wine and beer and, and storage area as well. Here's the um, main living area and as well as the passive solar heating we have, we've got a fireplace and that's our secondary heating system. So let's go into the water filtration or WOM as it's called system. There's uh, six, 7,000 gallons of water up behind here in four different cisterns. And this is the uh, DC um, water pressurization pump. And these are for the regular water that we use in our um, sinks and taps and laundry and everything and then this is for the down to five micron drinking water. This is our master bedroom and uh, <clears throat> these are the cooling tubes so the um, there's a culvert that goes underneath the uh, between the cisterns and out to, to the other side of the berm so the air is pulled through basically at ground temperature and uh, is drawn through the transoms that are up there on top of the doors and then out through the vents in the top of the greenhouse. So that keeps everything nice and cool. This is the beginning of the greenhouse here and uh, you see we've got a lot of different things planted. We've got a eucalyptus, got a few hanging plants. Tomatoes really love this place. We're trying a few different things. We've got an olive uh, tree growing this year. But tomatoes really love it and we've got some kale and Swiss chard and cucumbers that are growing in the hanging baskets. And uh, you say at the bottom of the, um, the greenhouse planter system is a PVC pipe that's perforated that has the gray water coming into it from the um, bathroom sinks, the shower, and the washer and dryer, or the washing machine, I should say. And that all comes into the bottom and then it's circulated through. There's a little circulation pump at the, at the end. So every day it's circulating a few hours. And uh, 
say, and on top of that PVC perforated pipe, there's gravel, then sand, then dirt. You look at who are the, the um, homeowners in Canada particularly, and uh, they're all people who have questioned the status quo and going, why are we building the houses that we build? It doesn't make any sense. Um, why aren't we using the natural sunlight? Why aren't we using solar? Why aren't we using things that are there? We're, we've been stuck building the same houses for a couple hundred years in Canada and um, just consuming without really any thought anymore. You can't build these everywhere, but you just you can adapt. The, you can adapt them. If I was going to build a house in a, in suburbia, I would try and incorporate um, the passive solar and um, other things as well. I think we did a good job up front, convincing ourselves that it was going to work okay. Mm -hmm.